Article 294. Robbery with violence against or intimidation of persons. Acts punished as robbery with violence against or intimidation of persons. 1. When by reason or on occasion of robbery or the taking of personal property belonging to another with intent to gain, the crime of homicide is committed. 2. When robbery is accompanied by rape or intentional mutilation or arson. 3. When by reason or on occasion of such robbery, any of the physical injuries resulting in insanity, imbecility, impotency, or blindness is inflicted. 4. When by reason or on occasion of robbery, any of the physical injuries resulting in the loss of the use of speech, or the power to hear or to smell, or the loss of an eye, a hand, a foot, an arm, or a leg, or the loo or the loss of the use of any of such member or incapacity for the work in which the injured person is theretofore habitually engaged is inflicted. 5. If the violence or intimidation employed in the commission of the robbery is carried to a degree clearly unnecessary for the commission of the crime. 6. When in the course of its execution the offender shall have inflicted upon any person not responsible for the commission of the robbery any of the physical injuries in consequence of which the person injured becomes deformed or loses any, of the, any other member of his body or loses the use thereof, or becomes ill or incapacitated for the performance of the work in which he is habitually engaged for more than 90 days, or the person injured becomes ill or incapacitated for labor for more than 30 days. 7. If the violence employed by the offender does not cause any of the serious physical injuries defined in Article 263, or if the offender employs intimidation only. The crime defined in this article is a special complex crime. Article 48. Defining complex crime does not apply to the crimes covered in Article 294. Article 294 already provides a specific penalty for each kind of robbery with violence against persons in the first, second, third, and fourth paragraphs thereof. There is only one penalty prescribed, even if two crimes are committed. Article 48 applies only when a complex crime is not punished with a specific penalty. The term on the occasion or by reason of the robbery. Note that the phrase on the occasion and by reason of the robbery. These phrases mean that the homicide or serious physical injuries defined in paragraphs 1 and 2 of Article 263 must be committed in the course or because of robbery. The crime of homicide committed on the occasion of robbery. When the victim is killed on the occasion when four accused were taking the chickens under the house of the victim, the offense is robbery with homicide, not theft and homicide. Robbery and homicide are separate offenses when homicide was not committed on the occasion or by reason of the robbery. In the case of People v. Atanasio, the Supreme Court said that the motive for killing on part of the Atanasio, Atanasios is not one thing. The Atanasios has been nursing grudge and hard feelings against the Villas' family. It appears that on three previous occasions, the caraba of Perfecto had been foraging or destroying the plantation of the Atanasios and that after several promises, he failed to pay the damages caused. It seems also that the Atanasio family had wanted to harass the Villas' family who were reputed to be witches and were boasting to be the richest family in the barrio. And then the robbery, it has been proved that after killing Perfecto, the avalanche surrounded his body and searched his pockets, turning them inside out and cut off the pocket watch which contained 100 watch pocket which contained 100 pesos. However, two separate offenses were committed to wit murder qualified by evident premeditation with no modifying circumstance to consider and robbery. Where the original design comprehends robbery and homicide is perpetrated by the reason or indication of the consummation of the former, the crime committed is robbery with homicide. In several cases, the court has already ruled that a conviction for robbery with homicide requires certitude that the robbery was the main purpose and objective of the criminals and that the killing was merely incidental resulting merely by reason or on occasion of the robbery. In the case of People v. Elizaga, where the victims were killed not for the purpose of committing robbery and the idea of taking the money and other personal property of the victims was conceived by the culprits, only after the killing it was held that the culprits committed two separate crimes of homicide or murder qualified by abuse of superior strength and theft. The rule is that, where the original design comprehends robbery in a dwelling or elsewhere, and homicide is perpetrated with a view 
till the consummation of robbery. The offense committed is the special complex crime of robbery with homicide, even though homicide precedes robbery by an appreciable time. If the original design is not to commit robbery, but robbery is committed after homicide, as an afterthought and a minor incident in homicide, the criminal act should be viewed as two distinct offenses. Robbery with homicide arises only when there is direct relation and intimate connection between the robbery and the killing, even if killing is prior to, concurrent with, or subsequent to the robbery.